sunshines! So this is an iPhone vlog and I chose to do an iPhone vlog for today's video for two reasons. One, because this week has been super crazy busy and I still wanted to make sure I put up a video today on Tuesday. And two, because I thought it was befittingly ironic to the subject matter that I want to talk to you about today. Today I want to talk to you about selfies. Last Thursday at the Moving Contemporary Art Fair in London, England, the national hashtag selfie portrait gallery opened. It's one of the first of its kind, a major exhibition to examine the digital expression of social media in a public gallery setting. There were 19 artists from the US and Europe that were featured in the gallery, which was made up of 30 second or less digital video clips not necessarily images, and the whole idea of this selfie gallery is fascinating to me. I made a video a long time ago about how I enjoyed making videos and putting them on the internet, but that at the end of the day I couldn't deny that the fact that I was putting my face and my life and my ideas out on the internet for people to watch and I assumed enjoy was semi-narcissistic. This gallery to me then poses the question, should we be considering selfies art? Time Magazine interviewed Kyle. Chai Chaika and Marina Galperina, who were the curators for this exhibit, and a couple of the things that they had to say really intrigued me. Chayaka said, I think the selfie departs from self-portraiture in that the format is improvised and fast, whereas most self-portraiture of the past takes the form of laborious paintings. I think smartphone selfies come out of the same impulse as Rembrandt's though, to make yourself look awesome. Which is true, right? We all know our best angles, how to hold our chin so we look better, put ourselves in good lighting. And so in a sense, we really only post things to the internet if they make us look awesome. I'm not sure if that puts selfies on the same level of re as Rembrandt self-portraits though, but it's an interesting idea. And Galperina said, the constant pressure for digital self-branding took the age-old self-portraiture tradition and put it into hyperdrive. It's less about narcissism. It's more about being your own digital avatar. The exhibit only ran through this last Sunday, which was the 20th, but I still couldn't help posting a video or wanting to talk about it in a video. Social media and the internet have completely changed the way we interact with one another, the way we consume news, and even how we create art. Years ago, would we have accepted selfies as fine art as we are now? And what these two curators were saying is that in a sense, self-portraits are selfies, are selfies of their time, and digital Instagram pictures, selfies, are just the selfies of our time. In a sense, everything we do online is creating an image for ourselves, branding ourselves, and previous generations didn't really have the same social media outlets and same outlets that we do, and so in a sense there's never been more pressure on a generation than there is right now to self-brand themselves. Everything I do or put online, I stop to think, how does this relate back to the brand Mallory or the brand Mallory of Sunshine? Is that crazy? This article would imply that it isn't, that it's just a part of my millennial generation. I consider my phone camera to be a fabulous substitute for my DSLR. In fact, I'm even filming this video on my phone right now. So when I post pictures to my Instagram feed, I try to be really mindful about the pictures that I'm posting because as a photographer, I want to be taken seriously. So my feed is a mixture of lifestyle photographs and pictures that I consider to be photography. So when a lot of thought and effort is put into composing a shot or creating a picture, then who am I to say that it is an art? When you think about it that way, that sure makes selfies seem a whole lot more meaningful. So what do you guys think? Are selfies art? Discuss in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!